I don't want to be like this, Paddy. Joining us now, our roving soap reporter Sharon Marshall is back doing what she does best, sitting in a pub. On Tuesday it was the Rovers, today it's the Wolfpack. Who have you got with you, Sharon? Yeah. Oh, I have got the cream of Emmerdale. Hasn't it been a fantastic year? And these are the people who have been at the centre of some of the storylines. We've got Emma Atkins, of course, former prostitute charity. We've got Kane Dingle, bad boy Yay. back Jack Wardley. Andy Sugden, another bad boy, Kelvin Yay. Fletcher. Oh, Look at those hey. pecs. Um, Danny Miller, of course, is Aaron. More nominations than any other actor in the same Yay. Yay. All right, all right. Bob Hope, Tony Audenshaw, the man behind Naughty Yay. Nylons. Yay! Yay. And Ryan Lamb, of course, James Sutton as well. He's like with his own sister to try oh, and get to the <laughs> But well, starting off, the man I'm going to start off with is you, Danny, because as we said, more nominations for this storyline than any of the other soap actors at the moment. We're up for Best Actor, Best Traumatic Performance, Best Storyline, Best Single Episode, Most Spectacular Scene. That's just showing off. Frankly. Um, now, the only thing I want to say is the, the, the big storyline, of course, you've had this year has been Aaron's um, coming out. Now, this is a, how do you sort of feel when they said this was what was going to happen to the character? Um, I didn't know how to, how to react to it at first, but um, it just, Gavin just started mentioning about what was coming up and, you know, what, what it would involve, and it just sounded too good. And, you know, we worked together on it and just uh, accepted it, and it was, it was great. It's worked well as well, so... It has. I mean, it's been a very controversial storyline. We've just seen the character trying to commit suicide. Do all these nominations make it worthwhile, though? That clearly people liked it. Yeah, it's it's nice that it's been. I've been nominated for them. Well, we all have. You know, it's not just myself, but um, it's I'm nice. Not, that, I'm not been <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's good. It's you know, I'm happy. It, it shows it's paying off. So. We were going to ask you lots of serious questions about the storyline, oh, but no. then all your other cast members have just told me, actually, apparently he does a really good Kevin Webster impression. Oh. Can we see it? Go on. Can we see it? <laughs> Kevin Webster. Kevin you'd have to, you'd have, well, yeah, well, you'd have to ask me, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, look, it's right for going on a date with Rosa. Is Listen, right? you stay away from Rosa. I just, stay away from Sofa. I just, I just wanted a quick date with him, that's all. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Very strong work. We'll go over there. <laughs> Should we have a little look at you in action? Because what I've absolutely loved as well, and he's not here today, but Dominic Brunt, who plays Paddy, ooh, has ooh. been um, absolutely sensational in the scene. Yeah, so we have so. a little clip of the two of them in action. Let's have a look. I don't want to be like this, Paddy. You don't have a choice. If you're gay, then you're gay. And that's just... And you are, aren't you? Oh, mm, brilliant. fantastic. Aww. We've got some of the best actors here. We also have some of the fastest people here. Can we say Tony Audenshaw, not only the fastest celebrity in the marathon, but the fastest man dressed as a baby ever. <laughs> the world's <laughs> fastest yeah. baby. Thank you. <laughs> Emily Simons text Alex Carter to say it was on the news in Australia. <laughs> oh, it must oh. have been such a quiet news day, I can't imagine. <laughs> of course, now talking about Alex Carter, of course, plays your on-screen son, Jamie. Now, he's going back, he's left Emmerdale, hasn't he? And he's going back to his character in Hollyoaks. Um, any message at all for him? Well, not all? really, I've just cut him off from my life now. <laughs> now he's gone, you know, I don't want to know him anymore. That's what we like, we do that. <laughs> now, I have heard it's a very good exit, though, coming up in all seriousness, because there's a little bit of a secret that's going to be coming out, isn't there? And we can play a little, uh, a little bit of your... You had a little bit of a kerfuffling with Jenny Dingle, didn't you? And that's going to come yeah, out. Yeah, secrets don't stay long, do they, in a village like this? You 
And that's the only hint we're going, but that's sort of the way that he goes. There we go. There's a hint. Should we go over to Emma? Now, of course, you've come back a bit of a reformed character. She was a bit of, you know, um, the former prostitute in, in a former life. Now, but she, well, she's been trying to settle down a little bit, this, yeah. hasn't she? Two weddings this year she's had to go out. She's Not made it through on either. No, she's <laughs> trying her best, but she seems to fail miserably on, on every account, doesn't she? But, yeah, it's wonderful to be back working with these maniacs. <laughs> Yeah, now, of course, the other person that you've been uh, working with is your on-screen daughter, Debbie, yes. Charlie Webb. Yes. She's just gone off to have a baby. She has, yes. It's already been born. It's beautiful. He's called Buster. He's beautiful, yeah. Has she brought him in for a little tour of the set yet? Uh, I don't know if she's... Oh, she has brought him in to say hello to everyone. Yeah, he did, he did yeah. a couple of scenes last week, oh, didn't he? Did yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get him in working yeah. already.